Mr. Anoma said one third of Labour MPs are unhappy with the way the party is going. Image Getty, less than one week after seven opposition MPs announced they were quitting in protest over Jeremy Corbyn's leadership to establish the independent group. Breakaways are already preparing themselves to welcome new recruits. Mr. Amuna believes the independents, comprised of eight former Labour. MPs and three ex-Tories have good reason to expect new members among their ranks in the near future due to the high level of dissatisfaction within Mr. Corbyn's party. He said the TIG had held talks with dozens of MPs from across the political spectrum. Chukaramuna and his fellow quitters were joined by three Tories including Anna Sobri, Image Getty. He told The Telegraph there's a good third of people in the Parliamentary Labour Party who are deeply unhappy. That's 80 people, I'm not saying that number would leave but we have talked to a lot of people, he added he was also aware of a lot of disgruntled Tories including government ministers. Mr Amuna used his resignation speech to lambast the Labour leader over his approach to Brexit and how he dealt with cases of anti-Semitism in the party. Chuka Amuna said the independent group expects to welcome more defectors. Image Getty earlier this month, a poll by Ipsos Mori showed just 44% of Labour voters are happy with Mr Corbyn's performance while 20% trust he will make the right decisions on Europe. Along with Luciana Berger and five fellow Labour colleagues, the Streatham MP urged other lawmakers to join the newly formed movement in building a new politics, according to the former lawyer, if any of those who walked out had expected a backlash from Labour MPs, they were in for a pleasant surprise. Mr Amuna, 40, claims the quitters were showered with praise by the former colleagues, many of whom hugged and kissed us and told the group they felt the same on many key issues that had resigned over. Mr Amuna said Jeremy Corbyn should expect further MPs to quit his party. Image Getty, his comments come after Sarah Wollaston, who resigned the whip on Wednesday, claimed one third of Theresa May's cabinet would walk out if the UK ended up with a no-deal Brexit. The ex-Tory MP said the independents could expect further Labour and Conservative defections in the coming weeks if the Prime Minister failed to rule out no deal and Mr Corbyn refused to back a second referendum. Mr Amuna added that he was hopeful the group can put forward an attractive alternative to the British public to get a genuine progressive government in, Mr Amuna said. It was the defectors' parties who had broken the contract with our constituents, not the MPs themselves.